you have now tuned into Coach Ed's Read and Attack Sports Show, where Coach Ed gives you his perspective on the latest sports news from around the world. You will experience sports from the mind, heart, and soul of a veteran coach. Watch Coach dissect, expand, and give you insight like no other with passion and vicarious sports knowledge that will leave you coming back for more. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode of Coach Ed's Read and Attack Sports Show. Now with your host Coach Ed. Please like and subscribe and also turn on the notifications. What's up, amazing fans? What's up, reading the tag fans, all sports fans everywhere? It's the coach here, Coach Ed Gladney. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I just want to have a little conversation, let you know what I'm doing right now. But before I get into that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification. This way, you'll always know when I post new content and everyone continue to like and share on all your social media. You guys are really helping me. You're really helping and supporting the channel and everything that I'm doing on my platform. All right. So, and to all my sponsors, you guys have a special place in my heart. Thank you for your continued support. Shadow Worlds Radio, Get Out Travels, Wise Consultant, the League of All Leagues. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you. I, again, I really appreciate you guys. So, um, this is just a little talk letting you know that with the Read and Attack show, I've done some interviews. So, what I wanted to do is take those interviews and just, just give you those interviews themselves. You probably already seen the interviews heard the interviews but i just want to bring it back and just let you guys really get to feel and get to know those that i've interviewed so that's really all it's about you know i and in the future any future interviews same thing you know i'll take it out and just give it that special special place in the coach ed's amazing world of sports and the reading attack sports world So, I hope you guys enjoy it. Sit back and listen in. All right? And you know what I always say in sports. Make sure you turn it on and turn it up. All right, fans. Thanks for um, taking the time to tune in today. Um, This is Coach Ed uh, with a special interview. Uh, on with me today, I have NYG22, also known as um, Popular Opinion Sports. He's one of the up and coming YouTubers um, who's done uh, put out some really great content. He and I also work together. Uh, we do a show called Heart of the City on Tuesday nights at 8.30 p.m. Uh, so um, thank you for tuning, uh, coming to the show today, NYG. How are you doing today? I'm good, Coach, man. Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate you uh, allowing me to come on and chit-chat with you. All right. So uh, let's let's right, get right into it. Um, fans, a lot of the fans want to know uh, that, you know, you have a great knowledge of sports, especially basketball. How did you become so knowledgeable with sports, especially with basketball? Well, I grew up playing basketball um, in New York City in the in the in the parks in the rec areas um played for several different teams throughout the city brooklyn manhattan um different rec leagues um one uh well known one was uh the best side big five um and you know um we played almost every day i mean we would get up early in the mornings get, eat some cereal you old brush your teeth Hit the, park, hit the park, man. I mean, nighttime, daytime, raining, snowing, doesn't matter. We was out there. So, I mean, I, I learned a lot, man. I got coached by some really good dudes. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much my my journey. Um, and I just grew up just watching all sports. I mean, we, we played football, but, 
you know, we didn't really play pro style football. It was more um, like we called it street ball. So, you know, we just kind of go out there and just throw the football, you know, two hand touch, three second hold, stuff like that. So that's how I kind of learned about football. Just starting out there, of course, you know, rocking with the New York Giants, man, and, and growing up watching uh, Phil Sims, Lawrence Taylor, Carl Banks. You know, I, I was diehard. I was a real diehard Jerry Rice fan. Um, I, if I was to get to play football, I would have modeled my game after Jerry Rice, which is, you know, why I talk about the wide receivers a lot. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, that's something interesting, Jerry Rice. I, I can definitely understand that. And yeah, that was my that was my guy. Every kid, you know, we all played the, the street ball, sandlot ball, however you want to categorize it. So I mm-hmm. all starts, you know, with your friends in the neighborhood. So, um, well, I guess um, football and basketball are your favorite sports. Do you have any other favorite sports? Um. Actually, I grew up a big wrestling fan. Um, I also like boxing. Um, I pretty much like all sports. Um, Rangers fan, you know, in 94 when the uh, the Knicks and the Rangers went, went to the uh, finals, you know, the Rangers came through. They had a big parade um, in Times Square, man. We was all out there. I mean, it was a huge thing. So casually follow hockey. But um, I definitely was big into boxing, man. You know, we grew up watching Tyson. He was the man in my era. Um, Evander Holyfield, George Foreman, you know, um, back in the day, Muhammad Ali. You know, you had Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, Roy Jones Jr. So, I mean, we were, we were heavy into to boxing. Um, I was heavy into boxing, heavy into wrestling as well. You know, I, my favorite wrestler was the Ultimate Warrior. Um, I, always, I like that. <laughs> I like the always he used to... You know what I'm saying? Shake, shake, and shake the ropes, and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. He would put that little act on or whatever, man. But man, we it, we we got psyched about that stuff, man. Um, I baseball is a a a, a sport that I'm just a, really a fan of. Um, I didn't have a lot of experience playing baseball other than like you know the wreck stuff we used to do. You know, you go out there, you know, with a stick. <laughs> you throw the ball you know every so often we were lucky enough to get to get bats um but you had to be careful with those because you know people were getting knocked upside the head with that man so but diehard yankees fan love the yankees um you know i grew up in the era the Derek jeter era um when they had those teams back in the 90s and 2000s where they were just killing it man you know so I, those are my teams, man. Uh, Giants, Yankees, Rangers, and the Brooklyn Nets, who I started watching um, back then. See, with basketball, I'm more of a fan of the game just because I played it, you know. But, you know, if you if I had to pick my favorite team, of course, that's the Brooklyn Nets. But I grew up watching the Knicks, the, um, the old school Heat the uh old school indiana pacer teams you know i just i love basketball you know i'm just a big fan of the game you know so i'm not too as they would say you know emotional about a particular team but i am a nets fan okay i i guess it would be fair to say you've been a sports fan a fan of these teams all your life yes i have okay Mm -hmm. You know, so you only basically played, you know, basically record. You, did you ever play basketball in high school or anything like that? I played in junior high. Oh, okay. um, yeah, but I never played for. See, New York is different. You know, um, you get more of an opportunity playing um, recreational, um, but it was organized. You know, I mean, we traveled. We played different teams in the cities: um, Bronx, uh, uh, Queens, Manhattan. Um, so I, yeah, yeah, we, we, we traveled within the five boroughs and played, you know, but, um, I just never played for a like high school team or anything like that. When I got to high school, I was into other things. <laughs> Let's put it like that. No problem. I understand. So, um, well, with, um, your sports venture. Have you ever coached the sport or any type of individual players like you know a youth player you're working on their fundamentals or you know a team or anything of that nature yeah my yeah. son um, 
coach my son in, um, in his basketball uh, leagues. He um, he played two years um, rec AAU like I did, um, and I would I would coach his his fundamentals. Um, you know how to follow through on his jump shot. You know working on consistency with his shot release. And, um, you know, we would go out there, I would have him um, do suicide drills, um, run laps, you know, um, we went through free throw drills, um, passing drills. So I, mean, I really coached him um, and, and he did well, you know, when he was playing. Um, so I, I thought that he got a lot of benefit out of my coaching than the actual coaches that were um on the team because you know he was more focused on what i was saying because of you know me playing the game before um but yeah that's 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 it i coach i coach my son um not not really no team um i did want to coach a team um it would be basketball but right now you know things uh got some things going on but I definitely would be interested in coaching um, youth, just youth. I don't, I don't deal with the adults. They, <laughs> yeah, they, they got other things, and you know. But. Yeah, I know. I've been. <laughs> um, I just want to touch something for the audience in case anyone is confused. Uh, you mentioned suicides, okay? And for the audience, just just so I can give paint a picture for you. Think of a basketball court and you're standing on the end line underneath the basket and you run to the foul line, turn around, come back, and you run to the foul line, reach down, touch the ground, turn around, come back, come back. touch the end line, turn around, run to the half court, touch the line, turn around, come back, and you do that to the other um, free throw line, to the other end line, and then all the way back. So that's mm -hmm. a great, great conditioning drill. When I played youth basketball i hated that yeah we all did <laughs> <laughs> so I, if you I, messed up that's what they made you run all right y'all y'all didn't do well today suicides everybody oh. yeah exactly <laughs> so, um so for you any of you uh in the band you know that's that's basically what he was talking about so. now um what other experiences do you have in the world of sports? For example, management, agent, broadcasting, anything. What do you what what experiences do you have? Um, well I I did do photography, um, not necessarily sports photography, but um I I do do some form of uh I guess it wouldn't be considered journal journalism, but media because I have a YouTube channel that would be considered experience. And um, I'm also traveling is is a big thing that um, I'm doing right now. Um, just going out to games and just kind of watching players getting kind of get my own unpopular opinion on on some of these uh, players. So that is something that I'm going to be getting into but outside of playing um any long-term experience it just comes from just watching the game you know um just knowledge of being around diff different coaches and players um definitely do have aspirations to do other things um outside of sports um i used to write a lot so that might be something i might get, be getting back into as well okay okay well, um, that kind of le led me to, you know, my next question. Did you have any dreams or, or any ventures as a youth? So, um, you know, when you were a kid, for example, keeping it in the sports realm, did you ever dream of getting to the NBA? Or, you know, you said Jerry Rice earlier, you know, did you dream mm -hmm. of getting to the NFL? Uh, anything like yeah. that? Yeah, I, I wanted to play in the NBA. I did. Okay. I wanted to play in the NBA and... Um, that's why we practice so hard, man. That's why we was in the, in the park shooting jumpers. We go to the gym, we go to the Y, shoot jump shots. You know what I'm saying? Just, it, it was, it was me. I was a shooting guard. Mm -hmm. So I was what some would call today a three and deep, uh, person mm -hmm. where, um, that's why I modeled my game after was, you know, 
playing good defense and hitting the open jump shot. Um, <laughs> my ball handling skills were eh, okay, you know, but um, I had very good court court vision. So, um, my my goal is to provide travel for not just sports fans, but um, sports professionals, coaches, players, um, journalists, um, any enthusiasts, parents. Um, um, so, and 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 that's what that's my real goal um, to do is to provide sports travel um, to people involved in sports at any level. You know, um, whether it's youth, high school, college, professional, um, that's my goal. And I want to, I also want to, you know, keep putting out good sports content. Um, this is something I love to do, you know, working with other uh, content creators as well. This is something I really love to do is just, you know, just talk about sports and, and just give my opinions <laughs> about certain topics and certain things and a lot to open up discussion for um you know people that don't have a necessarily have a voice people that that might be a little shy to talk to you know some of the bigger content creators so we want to make those people feel comfortable when they come into our spaces and our shows so that's 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 my goal you know that's my goal long term you know travel and just allowing people to have a voice when it comes to sports what what doesn't matter what sport it is you know because we all have a passion um and a love for sports which is to me the reason i like it so much is i love competition i have a competitive nature about me and i, I just i like that competitive you know i mean it, we, we we used to play video games uh you know we would play cards like any type of activity where it's me versus I, I always want to do my best i always have that competitive nature you know um but always keeping it respectful and and um and friendly and, and fun okay well i want to just expand on that a little bit the first one is you know you were talking about travel and helping others all right what do you mean by helping others how do you how do you go about helping others well first of all a lot of people don't have the time or um first of all the time time is a, a is an issue for a lot of people so what we do is we put together things um say for instance if you want to go to an event um a giants game you know i you say hey i want to go to a giants game when and and i set everything up for you i go and i do the research and that's one of the things that I forgot to mention to you is um, one of my better skills is researching and finding out things. Um, and I'm really good at that with travel, which is, you know, what, what we do now um, in setting up, because there's a lot of different factors that go into that. You know, you got to know where you're staying, how far is it, um, how much things cost, how you're going to get there, whether you need transportation to and from the event. There's a lot of planning going into just going somewhere, anywhere, travel. There's, there's a lot of planning and factors into it. Um, some people have certain requests. They want to be on this side of town or that side of town. Just for instance, you say, oh, hey, I want to go to a Giants game, you know, and then you book in a hotel and you don't know where this hotel is because you've never been to, you know, um, MetLife Stadium in that area, and then you wind up in a hotel in the middle of the of the ghetto, you know. Then and that might not be what somebody wants. Some people don't care. Some a lot of people do though, but they don't know. They don't have the the knowledge, and that's that's what we want to do to to help people. We we also want to. I want to give people motivation to travel. A lot of people think traveling and going to different events has to be this big thing. This big cost uh effective thing and it doesn't you know it really doesn't you know there's there's a lot of different financing um and plans that 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 you know uh my company comes up with in order to make 
travel and sports travel affordable you know because if you go on these websites and you know not taking a shot at anybody but a, a lot of them overprice things you know um because they they're giving you these luxury packages and all this lavish things and you're like oh ah and then you look at the price and it's four thousand dollars you know them that's that's not what we're trying to do we're trying to give regular people you know hard honest working people the ability to do something that they love to do and that's how i want to help you know the sports community well i definitely want to commend you on that that's definitely something that's needed you know you are basically in a sense you're being the point the point guard or the quarterback of mm -hmm. that you know, yeah, absolutely <laughs> and the other one was um just like with the title of of, of your channel Un unpopular opinion sports why 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 that name well the thing is it it kind of sparked um i kind of got this idea sparked to um from um big blue crew shout out to pat and lou um when i came into the community i had some 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 takes that didn't wasn't received too well um by <laughs> giants fans so um you know everybody say hey man start your own channel start your own channel i'm thinking like well, i don't want to call the channel nyg 22 mm -hmm. you know even though that's what I, I go by um so i said man they really they really don't like my my uh my my takes my they're pretty unpopular ah there you go unpopular opinion you know because a lot of people they have some people they just they just listen and, and, and hear what others say and they say oh well that sounds pretty good i'll just i'll roll with what, what he said you know or she said um me i think a little different i think outside the box i try to really have my own genuine opinion about things you know whether i be right or wrong you know but always keeping it respectful so i mean unpopular opinion i would say that's that's a good name um for, for myself <laughs> because a lot of my takes are not mainstream media um takes they're a little out of left field some might say but a lot of times they end up being right so <laughs> somehow <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that and you know hey at least you're standing on your own two two feet in the sense and you're not you know you know conforming to what is being put out there you're you're thinking for yourself so and that that's something that we all need to do so absolutely now um in terms of sports what do you feel was your biggest sports achievement oh uh, achievement yeah we did win the title a couple times um um in the in our league um i got i got quite a few trophies um i wish i had them i could show you but i don't know what happened to them. those those things are probably in a closet somewhere in grandma's house or my old house in in brooklyn so who knows but um they're there somewhere um we did we did win um some championships um i i played well in one league um it's about as well as i think i did it was probably about now i was a, a a starter sometimes in different leagues depending on the talent you know i might have had to come off the bench you know and depending on the coaches if their sons and and um cousins and all of them were on the team usually you got pushed down to you know backup status but hey we won we won we won the um we won the league um um Hey, if my brother he would he could tell me the name of the league, but we played on Claver's place in um Brooklyn and we 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 won. We won that league. Um it was was it eleven? I think it was eleven and up, eleven, eleven and ten, ten and eleven league. So that's that we won the championship, man. I got a trophy, man. I was so happy. I was like, yo, I won, we did it, man. That's like as an individual like that was my greatest achievement um from a sports um perspective you know i think that was one of the one of the greatest things you know actually winning the league and winning the title no matter what role you may have played you know it always feels good to win you know so um i i, I enjoyed that you know which is why i do have a 
which is why I want to win. I want my teams to win, whether I root for them or play for them. You know, that's the competitive nature I have. But yeah, that was that was my greatest achievement is was winning that winning that title um in uh in basketball, man. Clay was placed, man. We was we was kids, man, but it it, it was it was thrilling. Yeah. Kids, trust me, I understand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so now, in terms of you know the you know, the travel, I, I I get your goal there. Now, in terms of utility, um, what is your current long term goal with with your utility? I mean, what's your expectations? Well, um, we want to grow. We want to grow. Um, and I want not just myself but i want this entire network of of people that we you know i don't want to put a name on it because i don't want to get no you know i don't want to get into anybody's feelings or whatever but this entire network that we that we work with you know that all of us work with you know whether it be hardcore sports big blue crew unpopular opinion sports shakedown crew twitter spaces i i want to have a big network of people man to work with man so we can come on and show and share different things about different teams um new york involved or other you know we got heart of the city eventually you know i I want to turn that into a podcast um and expand that across all networks um and and that's my goal is to grow get bigger and 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 get the little guys you know the the small timers man and and allow them to get their voice out you know you know, and everybody, everybody grow, grow. come up together and and that's that's what i'm looking at man that's what i really want you know i want to i want to get this thing on spotify itunes radio you know hell espn you know i mean i i'm i'm hey man big think big you know think big and and this is what we want, you know, because we want to get heard too. You know, we can't just have. I don't want. All due respect, I don't want Stephen A. Smith speaking for everybody. You know, in a general sense, man, everybody needs their voice to be heard, man. And that's my goal. I want everybody to to be able to heard. You know, to be heard, whether it's popular or unpopular. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody should have a voice, and everybody should be heard. And that's my long term term goal: is to allow people to speak. And to grow our channel, our network, um, in our community. Okay. That's that's uh, something that I, I, you know, think is very important. You know, everyone does need to have a voice and needs to be heard, and um, it's important to, you know, do that. You know, in sports, in life, whatever it is, you know, you definitely. Need you know, have a voice. I think it was Whoopi Goldberg who once said it on one of her, her movies. You have a, uh, you have a voice. You uh, something to that effect. That you, you know, you, you should be heard. So, you know, not you just said that and made me think about that. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. Now, I just want to touch on Heart of the City um, quickly. Um, why did you come up with that show? I mean, what is it about, first of all, and then why did you come up with? Well, heart of the city is it's it's what it says. It's heart of the city. And a lot of people go to work and they have lives, they children, wives. That's what that, what city are we talking about now? That's yeah. Right. We're talking about the people in other cities, so I want to make sure we identify which city we're talking about. Right, and I'm gonna get into that, you know. Sorry. But heart of the city is what i deem dubbed the heart of new york city um where i was born at um and and it is sports um whether you're a yankee fan you you know you got these die hard yankee fans man they go yeah you stinking yankees they lost again man you know they you know you 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 go to work you you are the train they talking about it you know or it's it's the Knicks, you know, like, oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you and this finger roll, these, these, these different things that they the heartbreak. And, and it's just like just growing up in that night, especially in that 90s era, 
you know, is everything was about sports. You know, everything was about sports. And man, to me, that is the heart of the city. That is the heart of New York. You know, that's what keeps people going. You know, people have stressful jobs and stressful lives, man. But they love to, to go home, you know, crack open a beer, man, and, and, and watch the Giants play or watch the Jets play or watch the Knicks play or the, or the Brooklyn Nets or the Rangers or the Islanders or Syracuse or Rutgers or St. John's or, or any of the college teams. So that is, to me, the heart of the city, man. And me being from New York, my teams primarily that I root for, are in the tri-state area so yeah that's 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 my thing you know it's new york you know i i'm broad when it comes to sports but the heart of the city it's it's there man it's right there in new york city man you can't deny it man it's it's sports man you you a fan of some you a fan of some team or your your your, ch your children watch sports or your dad play sports or some way you connect it man that that is the heart of the city in my opinion very powerful um do you find uh your show youtubing do you find all this rewarding absolutely absolutely um and in some way it's it's a stress relief for me you know when i when i get to come out and i get to to come on tuesday night you know with you and and, and jeffy and, and 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 big fan breezy and members of the big blue crew and you know, we get on there, we chop it up, man. The people in the chat, man, the loyal supporters in the chat room, and we can get on there and chop it up, man. It's hey man, all the all the things I got going on and, and everything during that day, man, it just goes away, man. I'm and I'm locked in on on, on on talking about, you know, what we need to talk about and getting some of these things off our chest, you know, that we hold in, you know, man, because we keep an open platform. That's one thing that I forgot to mention that's important to me. Um when it comes to my channel not just heart of the city but the channel in general is to keep it open but respectful you know i i you you can come on and talk you know be be as loose as you know but just be respectful and mindful of of what, what other people are, are are there and how they may, may feel so that's just hey like i said this it's a stress relief for me you know in a sense that you know i get to come on and 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 breathe and and talk about my team man, and and let it out man you know sometimes it's frustrating sometimes it's happiness you know sometimes it's it's so it's, it's sober it's so, somber uh, as they would say you know it's sad but no matter what it is man tuesday night you know you're gonna be able to get it off your chest man so that's why i love i love doing heart of the city right i, I definitely like doing it too so exactly what you're saying now um with the youtubing platform that you have do you feel that you've been able to help mentor others who may be looking to get into youtubing or have questions about any type of uh social media aspect like that um absolutely um i've i'm always open to help people you know some people dm me and ask me questions about you know how to set this up or um where you can go find this where you can go find that i'm i'm always have an open um you know uh, i'm an open book man you know you could you could ask me about anything um my one of my passions is helping people so anytime somebody and in my way i can help you i would try to help you you know if you're genuine and about what you need and and you need help you know i would be there to try to help someone you know um that's a passion a joy of mine as well as my wife that you know we we definitely want to help um people in need you know whether it's youtubing or or anything else you know um as far as starting a channel um anybody interested in starting a channel that's what part of this platform is for you know you can watch me as well as yourself jeffy and what we do you know um and like i said i give you i try to i want to give people a comfortable enough platform to come on and speak you know or even if it's just in the chat so maybe it will spark an idea for others um to want to um start their own channel or get into podcasting or you know just you know if you want to 
do sports travel you know I'm, I'm i'm there for that as well so um that's yeah i'm i'm open to to a lot of different things you know um especially helping people um and and, and come up and in some way you know me and you and, and jeff have came up together you know in this youtube thing so you know i, I definitely want to help others do the same thing all right well um if anyone wanted to reach out to you um you know in reference to your channel your ventures um how can they connect with you or reach out to you and whether it's a fan or a business opportunity how can they reach you well you can find me um on youtube of course um unpopular opinion sports um it's right up there um and just put that in and i should pop up um on twitter nyg22 um you put that in that's my twitter handle um uh as far as business is concerned um get out travels ww dot get out travels dot com um you go there um that's our website we're in the, in the process of rebuilding that website but it's up now you can reach us there you can reach us on facebook um get out travels on of uh, uh, go travels i should say on facebook g o capital g capital o capital uh space capital t and, and tr spell out travels so it's go travels um and that's our our facebook um and yeah um the email yeah um get out travels at yahoo.com that's get get out is g e t o u t r a v e l s it's not two t's it's get and then out and then ravels so you don't add another t just r a v e l s so that's how we do our get out travels um same thing with the website spelled the same way um so those are those are our our avenues so it's it's plenty of opportunity um and i i do post all those links in my videos um well at least i try to so um you know go watch one of my videos and you'll see all those links there um for everybody um for all our um social media uh platforms now do you have anything else that you want the audience to know about you your ventures youtubing or just unpopular opinion sports in general i mean i think we covered it but you know just for everybody out there enjoy yourself you know enjoy yourself have fun just let's try to kind of put the 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 you know the man bravado to the side sometimes man and and you know try to get along you know i definitely want people to go out and travel um go travels stands for get out and travel um so just do that enjoy yourself you know all this stuff is pretty much over with you're safe go out travel have fun go see your game man go see your yankees game go see your giants game you know or maybe you like another team just get out travel you know um whether you go through us or go travels or on um, you just do it yourself just get out travels get a personal feel for sports you know outside of just watching it through a screen it's a different environment when you go to a game live if you've ever been to one um or if it's been a while since you've been go 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 experience that go experience that one time i'm sure there's a sports team wherever you live even if it's just a local college team that is one thing that i am going to be doing this upcoming season is going to see some more of the local college teams that are in my area um when i can't get to those games you know since it, there's minimal travel involved um but you know i also like to do big trips you know um giants games you know maybe we go to the west coast this year um you know we've been down to miami a couple times been up to cleveland um chicago you know um so just get out just get out and travel man and 
you know you're a sports fan go to an event i'm telling you it's going to give you a different perspective on the game just being there and feeling the atmosphere and being able to watch things live and in person and how everything plays out in front of your eyes that's my message all right well my d i thank you this has been a great interview i really thank you for the time the insight all everything talking about sports in your life and you know encouraging others to get out so and i hope the audience you know take speed to that so you know everyone thanks again for tuning in and you know what i always say in sports make sure you turn it on and turn it up y'all have a great five four three two one Shadow Walls Radio presents Hojet's Read and Attack Sports Talk Show. This is the Read and Attack Show. This is a sports show where I dive into sports all across the world. This is the Read and Attack Sports Talk Show. I'm going to give you my perspective. Hojet's Read and Attack Sports Talk Show. I'm going to attack it just like I would as a coach. Read and Attack Read and Attack. 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 I'm going to attack it just like I would as a coach. Coaches, read and attack. I'm going to give you my perspective. This is the Read and Attack Sports Talk Show. Thank you all for you know tuning in today. Read and attack. This is a sports show where I dive into sports all across the world. Coaches, read and attack. Sports talk show. Read and attack. Read and attack. Read and attack show. Read and attack show. Read and attack show.